This really is the Armageddon of sustenance. Good, eh? And we're going to be touring some of Pattaya's best loved and most splendid restaurants. Hello and welcome to this edition of The Big Bite. And today we're going to be reviewing um, that staple of many people's diet, the full English breakfast. And for that, it's going to be fun. Five places, five breakfasts, all in one day. Now all I'm going to need is a partner in crime for that. And um, I'm wondering where he might be. Um, you do realise this isn't one of the places we're reviewing? Yes, I'm aware of that. But I am the Lionel Messi of the food world and at like all great sportsmen, I need to warm up. He needs to warm up his stomach. Mm. So I'm going to um, try and find the tomato yes. ketchup. Yes, um, uh, would you, you like to don't... order one? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hi, I'm Campbell, the manager of Agarra's Irish Bar and Grill. Today the guys are testing the legendary full Irish breakfast here. There is none better in Patia or Thailand for quantity, quality or price. So come along and visit us in Soy 5 Pratamnak or call us in 038 252 At the first venue of our marathon run at uh, reviewing breakfast here in Patia, and we're at uh, O'Gara's at Tara Court on Pratamnak Hill with my good friend Dave here. And we're about to tuck into our first breakfast, um, but we were talking about how we judge our breakfasts. That's right, yeah. I mean, I think that uh, it's got to pass the sausage test, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yes, it has to pass the sausage it test. It has to be a proper sausage, yep. uh, you know, and um, no, no frankfurters or anything like that. Can't, I was going to say, what do you mean by a proper sausage? A proper sausage, you know, got good taste to it. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it doesn't sort of feel as if it's one sort of continuous bit of meat. So would you agree with me when, if I get a breakfast somewhere and they come out and it's a hot dog sausage, Mm. I think that breakfast is going to be awful. Yes, yes. I mean, you can't send it back, but, uh, but you know, if you see a be... picture of it on the menu and you still order it, then you know, you'll, you'll look at it. Especially with a bit of streaky bacon and half a tomato yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, it's quite possible to buy a really bad breakfast in, in Badia. But uh, fortunately, I don't think. Uh, no, I, th I think we're doing all right well, here. Yeah. We, we have a. Uh, an English sort of breakfast, English, English made breakfast Irish. with a bit of an Irish twist to it by putting some literally potatoes. Yeah. There we go. So let's tuck in. Don't forget the greenery, mate. That's oh, the yeah, Irish bit as well. Uh, well, tomato and lettuce, etc. Mm. Mm. So let's tuck in. Right, so we're passing the sausage Looks test nice. now, are we? Yeah, let's do the sausage test. Mm. Here we go. Always take out a bit from the middle. I like yep. that. Yep. Got spicy. Got a bit, yeah, got mm. a bit of taste to it, yeah. Mm. But we're, we're going to eat it. We'll review it in the car. Righty ho! Um, we've just left Ogawa's now, and we had a mighty fine breakfast, didn't we, Dave? Yes, it was a good plateful. It was it uh, excellent. It was very, very good. This is mm. Ogawa's, which is on Pratt and Mac Hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What hotel is it below? Tara Court, isn't Tara it? Tara Court, that's yeah. it. Yeah, so easy to find. Irish bar, um, air conditioned, really nice breakfast. What was the standout part for you? I think the Cumberland sausages for me. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You had the Cumberland. Yeah, I don't... You can't really be... I mean, that's a proper sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. one hundred. That's a proper English sausage. It's man. a proper English sausage yeah. in a proper... Irish bar. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. um, but no, it was superb. It was just, you know, if you picture a... An English breakfast, it had everything that you wanted. Yeah, yeah. It really was. No, it was, it was uh, excellent stuff. Yeah. So there we go. So that's your first place. Um, I'm feeling a bit full already, so I don't know how I'm going to get on. How are you after your two breakfasts? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I think I've got a little bit more room. You've got a little bit more room? Uh, yeah. I've got a little more room than you anyway. Well, we'll make, we are driving along and we're off to this second destination.
สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to our Rose Sport Bar. We not only have Thai most famous breakfast, we also show live sport. We have 20 big screen TV showing sport from all over the world. A n i g h air condition bar, great stop and service. Come see us soon at i r o v e r on s o i l k Metro. Thank you. So Dave, we're in the uh, famous LK Metro now. Yeah. Off to i r o v e r s Never been down here before. You believe that, don't you? Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, I've yeah. never been down here, no, especially no. at night. This is the earliest I've yeah. been in the morning, obviously. You know. So we've just had a little jaunt down from Pratunak Hill to LK Metro, and we're at i r o v e r s where we've got one of the best-selling breakfasts in Pattaya. They sell on a bad day 100 of them, on a good day about 260. So we have two sausages, uh, two bacon, um, a couple of fried breads, two eggs, mushrooms, potatoes. It's looking all right, isn't it? Yeah. What about the black pudding? You forgot that. Oh yeah, the black pudding's like. Don't forget just the black there. pudding, mate. Yeah, that's can't the, forget that's the that. difference between what we had before. That, that is. Oh, and uh, and the uh, fried bread, the heart stopper. Yeah, stop fried bread, the yeah, heart yeah, stopper. Yeah. And actually, we were talking before about how we judge a good breakfast, but you have a pet peeve, don't you, Dave? I do have a pet peeve. I don't like the old mixing of sweet and savoury, so I don't yeah. like seeing maple syrup on the same plate as bacon. I think it's. Just it was a big turn off for it me. It sounds absolutely disgusting. It does, and I and think anybody is. that has that is a, I don't know, a heathen. A heathen, yes. an absolute heathen. Yeah. It's almost as bad as pineapple on pizzas. Well, well, let's you not know? push it too far. I mean, pineapple, yeah. What yeah. that's doing on a pizza, I haven't. But heard. maple syrup, I like maple syrup on your on your. Uh, um, anything like that, I'm, I'm a bit funny about. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apple on roast pork, that sort of thing. Uh, another pineapple again on gammon. Can't, can't that's can't weird. Take it. Yeah, that yeah. is weird. Yeah, this is actually a competition. They've had 30 people try um, and eat this breakfast in one hour. Clint's number 31. Um, and is it right? It's free if you get through it. Or? Yeah, it's free if you get through the whole thing. So, yeah. And But Clint's been in training this morning. He has been in training. He didn't go out drinking last no, night. Good that boy. was his training. He's been for a run this morning as yeah. well. And don't worry, viewers. You do actually have a paramedic on standby, mm. just in case uh, cardiac arrest, which I think, by the looks of it, will be pretty imminent. Mm. Yeah, and he's even got a spoon for the baked beans, which smacks of professionalism to it, me. It absolutely does. He's got yeah. some water to uh, yeah. put it down with. Although I would recommend Clint that you switch your cold water for warm water. That will help you digest better. Yeah, that's just a health tip, everybody out there. You know. So. Uh, So we're going to tuck into. You ours. reckon you're going to do it, Clint? Sorry, I, I, I waited until you had your mouth absolutely <laughs> full, mate. I, I thought, yeah, wait right. until he's got his mouth full, and then we'll ask him a question. Yeah, there's no doubt. We've got an hour, so um, so we go. Yeah? yeah. We'll be returning to him. Yeah, we'll come shortly. back. And, yeah, we uh, will yeah. come back and see how you've got on. We'll um, come back with someone from Bangkok Patia Hospital. So we've just been to i r o v e r s in LK Metro, and I know one word I'm going to say about this one. Value for money. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. It's a good price. The, yeah, very the good. 99 yeah. baht for yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't go wrong with really, no. it. And it also had very, uh, um, absolutely, 100 excellent fried bread. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you should pick that out. This is the old heart stopper. Yeah, yeah. great stuff. You know, because it is difficult. I know it sounds crazy. How can fried bread be difficult? Well, it must be difficult because right. so many places you go, they do it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, they got it yeah, absolutely bang on, right. bang on, right. Mm -hmm. Just, just like my mum's. Mm. And um, I'd say 99 b a r t You know, you got your sausage there. You got your baked beans. And What about bacon. that chap who took on the big one? Well, that was just mental. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he got close, didn't well, he? Do, he got do you think close. so? I don't think he got through half of it. Well. I think you're a little being bit kind. more. Okay, yeah, I'm being I think kind. You're being kind. I'm being yeah, kind. Yeah, Actually, he, he had a, made an he excellent was a complete, effort. You know, um, but you couldn't finish that. The amount of yeah, bread the, in it. The is, entire plate is surrounded by bread before you even sort of get to the. It's about 10,000 calories. You know, <laughs> if you ate all that, you would have a heart stopper. Oh. You know? Hi, my name's Steve, and I want to talk to you about the golf club where we're having breakfast this morning. You guys are having the Faldo breakfast with bubble and squeak, but we also have eggs Benedict, French toast, all sorts of different breakfasts from seven o'clock in the morning. We're in the heart of Pattaya in Soy LK Metro, so come on down and give us a try. Thank you.
So, after that long walk... <laughs> yeah. From my rovers to the golf club in uh, LK Metro, and we've uh, got a different type of breakfast. It's called the Westwood. Yes, well, it is the golf club, though. so... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what is different about this one is we have bubble and squeak. Yep. Yes, we have bubble and squeak right in <laughs> the actual... Uh, and, and a Cumberland sausage, mate. Cumberland yeah. sausage, yeah. Now, is, they're uh, usually pretty good. Well, let's uh, get tucked in. Yep. Should we tuck in? Have a little taste. A little bit of bubble. Yeah, you know, it's um, nice eggs. We've also Ooh. got the nice toast as well. Proper mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Got a proper English mushrooms. Mm. English style mushrooms. That's good. So we talked about good breakfast. Well, one thing we ate, which was the maple syrup, mm -hmm. which was weird. And now we have on to a breakfast which has got that individuality, which is the bubble and squeak. Yeah, I mean, everything we've had so far, you know, at least one thing about it is different, which is, you know, it's good. All right then. Well, that was a different breakfast and it was nice to have a little bit of variety. We've just been to the golf club, also in LK Metro, um, and it was nice having bubble and squeak with it. Yeah, yeah, that was the nice nice little twist, yeah. wasn't it? Because you know, what was the breakfast called? Can you remember? I can't remember, to be perfectly honest. No. Well, I mean, if I... Right, the way it is, he has about six different breakfasts, all with golfy names, doesn't he? Yeah, that's he? right, yeah. So we just had one of them mm. um, with a bubble and squeak, was and that was... The Nick Fowler, I don't know, was it? Yeah, something like I think like it was that, named after it? a golfer or something. Yeah. Anyway. We'll... But anyway, yes, it's all themed. Um, there were different breakfasts with, you know, different combinations. Again, perfect sausage. Mm. Yeah, mm. perfect sausage. My ex-wife would have loved that. Um, <laughs> no, she did. No, she liked yeah, a good yeah. English sausage. Oh, OK. Yeah, she did. I yeah. thought you were being grumpy um, for a minute there. No, and, uh, you know, the bubble and squeak. And it was really nice. Again, mm. good value. Very mm. good value. Yeah. Um, good quality ingredients and... Um, and in a good location. We again, haven't yeah. talked about the location, have we? Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, OK, Metro. When you've been out for a, you know, <clears throat> a good night, um, a lot of people just go straight to breakfast, don't Actually, they? Actually, a lot of people do go straight <laughs> to breakfast. <laughs>